Okay, placing a listing on Facebook Marketplace from your business page. Now, this is super important that it comes from your business page. When people message you, it's going to go to your page, number one. Uh, and number two, you can now retarget people who are looking at your listing on Facebook Marketplace, which is going to be huge going forward. So watch this. Uh, so I'm going to go to Facebook.com. I'm going to come down here to Marketplace. And I'm going to hit sell something right here. Now, if you've never seen Facebook Marketplace before, think of it as kind of like Craigslist, but on Facebook. And um, I could do a whole one hour class just on Facebook Marketplace. But let's let's hit sell something. Uh, and I'm just going to stick to the basics today. We're going to go home for sale or rent. Okay. Now this is listed by, this is your personal profile. If you, if you pub publish a, something for sale on Marketplace, you can say it's from my personal profile. Like if you were selling a tent or a pair of boots, whatever, doesn't matter. Those can come from your personal profile. If you're selling a listing, I encourage you to sell it from your business page instead. So what you do is you click right here where it says listed by, and you switch that to your business page. Okay, so I have my business page selected. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to check this box right here. And it says the listing will be shared to my page, which means it's automatically going to go to my business page. Now it's content that is ready to go. Uh, you can add up to 50 photos. I don't recommend that you add 50 photos. In fact, the, the fewer the better, in my opinion. Uh, I'm just going to add some photos of a fake listing that I have, and you can reorder these in any way you see fit. So, you know, obviously the, the very first photo right here, I'm going to move that to the front. There we go. Uh, let's put the backyard right here, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, office. Yeah. Okay. So I've got nine photos in there. Pretty good. I'm going to go down here and say it's for sale. Property type is a house. Uh, bedrooms. Let's do, this is a four bedroom, three bathroom price. Uh, let's do 900,000. Okay. Property address. You, you put the actual address in here and Facebook goes out and actually finds the address. So if I wanted to go to Maple, 123 Maple Street in Richfield, say that's that's the address, it's actually gonna go find that address in Maps and put it on. Now you can keep the property ad address private. I don't recommend that. Now if you're selling a, you know something uh, from your home, you don't want people to show up to your house, definitely keep it uh, you know, private. But in this case, it's a home for sale. You don't want to keep the address private. Add the property description. By all means, get some good copy in there. You know, if you don't know how to write good copy, you know, go copy and paste from uh, from the public remarks uh, in in RMLS. That's that will work just fine. Square feet, let's put in, let's say it's 5,100 square feet. The rest of this pretty inconsequential. Um, you don't need to put in laundry type or air conditioning. This is more for rentals, okay, and not for homes for sale. Uh, you do need a property description in here. You have to have something in here. Otherwise, you cannot hit the next button. So we're going to hit the next. It's going to take me to one final step. I'll try that again. Next. Uh, and then this is where you can, if your page is joined groups from your business page instead of your personal profile, it, those, those groups will actually show up right here and you can actually post this item for sale in as many groups as you want. So for instance, buy, sell, trade groups, uh, for sale groups, you know, uh, wanted and unwanted items for sale groups, community groups, those kinds of things. If you join the group from your business page, they'll show up here. You hit the publish button and it goes out, not just to your page, but it also goes out to a bunch of groups at the same time. Okay. Now where this is really important. So I'm going to hit the, uh, I'm not going to publish this because I don't want people to uh, uh, you know, show up to an address. Uh, I'm going to cancel it and I'm going to, let's, uh, yeah, discard that. And I'm just going to use a listing that's on here as an example. So let's go to home sales, 20 miles. Okay. So here's a good one right here. Perfect. Um, and I don't know who's, who's listing this house right here. 
Laura Dobbs. Okay, so Laura has listed this item for sale. Uh, it's in her personal profile. Here's a couple of things to note. Um, anything that you put in the description right here, welcome to your retreat, spacious, true master. If you put contact information in there, it's going to be grayed out. Facebook will, will blank it out. If you put a link to a website, Facebook's probably going to blank that out as well. Now, the main gateway for people that are interested in this is messages, Facebook Messenger, okay? If you're not good at checking your messages or responding to messages quickly, you might want to get good at that. Uh, I recommend a couple of things. One of the things that I, the first thing I'm going to recommend is an, an app on your phone called the Facebook Pages app. And then I want you to turn on the notifications for that Pages app. Uh, and then I want you to go test it. I want, I want you to actually find somebody and say like, hey, go check out this listing on Marketplace and hit send message and send my page a message and make sure that you can see it. Make sure that you're actually getting pinged. Speed to lead is the most important thing right here. Uh, the worst thing that can happen, and I've seen this happen many, many times, uh, somebody, somebody posts something for sale in here and you hit, you know, like, is this available? And they hit send and then nothing happens, like nothing. Um, and you're gonna find that on the other end, you might respond really, really quick. Yes, it's available, would you like to see it? And then you don't hear anything back. Uh, you, you might also see where they, they might've hit it by accident and then they're like, oops, sorry, I hit that by accident uh, type of thing. Okay, so, but I'm telling you, speed to lead is very important. Make sure you're very good about getting those messages from Facebook Marketplace to your business page. Otherwise, all of this is for nothing. The other important aspect of this is when this listing goes pending, make sure uh, you go in and mark this as pending in Facebook Marketplace, or even, even more so, when it's sold, go mark it as sold. The worst thing that can happen is you put something up for sale, it goes pending like two days later, and then it sells in 30 days, and it's still up for sale on your business page because you didn't mark it as pending or sold. So you have to be really, really good about that. Uh, here's what I encourage you to do. Just put a, just put a note in, uh, in RMLS that when it goes pending to send you a notification as soon as the, the listing went pending. Okay. That tells you to go into Facebook marketplace, change it to pending and you're, and you're done. Okay. And then go find another listing. As many as you can put in here as possible, uh, means the more leads that you're going to get for free, you don't have to pay for any of this. Okay. This is absolutely 100% free. So anyway, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We'll talk soon.